Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the diseases that can change the shape of red blood cells. Starting with acanthocytes, commonly referred to as pur cells. Acantho is a Greek word meaning having a horn, and so the RBCs will appear to have many different spikes or horns. We see this in liver diseases, in AB to lipoproteinemia, and in vitamin E deficiency. Next we have dacrocytes, which means teardrop cells, and we see this in diseases that squeeze the RBCs out of the bone marrow. Next we have digmasite, which are commonly referred to as bite cells. These are highly characteristic of the disease G6PD deficiency. Next we have basophilic stippling. These blue dots are basically ribosomes that stay within the RBCs. These are unspecific because we can see them in many different diseases, such as lead poisoning, sideroblastic anemia, myelodysplastic syndromes, and many others. Just memorize that the blue dots are due to ruminant ribosomes. Next we have echinocytes, which are commonly referred to as Burr cells, and they look as if their outer membrane is shaking with many different small spines. We see this in renal failure and pyruvate kinase deficiency. Next we have elliptocytes, and these are highly specific because there is only one condition that can cause them, hereditary elliptocytosis which is the result of genetic mutation in the protein spectrin. Next we have target cells. And it is very important to know the diseases causing target cells, which are hemoglobin C disease, asplenia, thalassemia, liver disease, and sometimes iron deficiency. Next we have spherocytes, and these are commonly seen in hereditary spherocytosis. They would cause chronic hemolytic anemia. These can also be normal findings in blood samples that are left in the air for long times. Next we have sickle cells, and of course we see this in sickle cell anemia. These patients have to avoid oxidants and dehydration to avoid hemolytic anemia. Next we have schistocytes, and these are commonly referred to as helmet cells. These are basically broken RBCs. We see these fragments in many diseases, basically everything that can destruct RBCs. And finally we have sideroblasts. These are uniquely blue. The blue pigments are iron deposit in the mitochondria. And here's a small quiz. What RBC changes occur with the following diseases? And here are the answers. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.